Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the root modifications for respiration. How are roots modified to help in respiration? Now roots are modified for respiration in plants which grow in marshy areas. That means the areas where the muddy areas where you have comparatively little more water. So those kind of damp areas. So how are the roots modified? They have a special structures which are known as pneumatophores and due to the presence of these pneumatophores, these kind of roots help in respiration. So for these plants in swamps or marshy areas, what happens in such areas? The oxygen content is less. So there is less oxygen in marshy areas. Therefore, in order to adapt to those kind of circumstances, specialized structures develop from roots which act as respiratory organs and these specialized structures are known as pneumatophores. So they are also known as breathing roots because these specialized structures help in exchange of gases or it helps in breathing. So these breathing roots rise vertically upwards. So now you remember that context when I told you that it is not necessary that all roots has to grow deep into the soil. There are roots which actually grow upwards instead of growing downwards. So let us look at an example. I mean let us look at this picture to understand how exactly these nematophores are. So here you can see this is a big plant which grows in a marshy area where you have I mean, that muddy area with a lot of water but less oxygen. So here what happens is these are the pneumatophores, right? So if you see the pneumatophores are growing upwards in the upper upward direction, right? So these are the breathing roots and these breathing roots grow vertically upwards. Now how this exchange of gases will take place? Now, one example of such plants where pneumatophores are present is mangrove, which is also known as Sada Bahar in India. So, this in mangrove plants also, you will see that these pneumatophores rise and, or the breathing roots rise vertically upwards. They come out of the water like conical spikes. So, you can see these kind of these brown structures. They represent those spike-like structures, somewhat like this. So those spike-like structures, will, you will be able to see them coming out of the water. So they are nothing but those breathing roots. Now what is present in these pneumatophores which actually help in exchange of gases? Because whenever we talk about exchange of gases or exchange of waters, they, it has to happen through some kind of pores or something has to be present there. Now basically it occurs with the help of small pore-like structures known as lenticels. So these lenticels are present in these spike-like structures. So spike-like structure I am talking about, they will have these little small pore kind of structure which help in exchange of gases and they are known as lenticels. So these are spongy erect roots. So see, this is one interesting modification of root. Now if I would have ever asked you before this, I mean, what are the functions of root? Would you, had you ever would have told that respiration is a function of root? I guess no. Because most of us are not aware that roots also help in all these purposes. That is, they can also help in respiration because it is not very common. These pneumatophores or lenticels cells are not present in all plants. They are present only in some plants. So why not one such example is the mangrove. But it is present only in those kind of plants which grow in marshy areas. That is another important thing to note. Now let us look at the third modification of root which is for the purpose of support. Roots in some huge trees are modified to provide additional mechanical support. Now when I say support, so again support is one of the basic function of root that it actually helps in uh, remaining keeping the plant fixed to the soil. So anyways it helps in proper anchorage. So it supports the plant. But besides that basic support for some plants which become really huge or they grow too big only that much of support is not enough. So they need some additional support. So some roots get modified to provide that kind of additional mechanical support as well. We'll talk about some examples. One such modification is 
prop root. So what are prop roots? They originate from aerial branches. So these are basically again adventitious roots. They are also adventitious roots but instead of originating from the radical or from the primary root, they originate from the aerial branches. So basically these roots also are not below the surface of the soil. They are also above the soil surface. However, they grow downwards into pillar-like woody roots. Now, are you able to imagine which roots I am talking about? Purposefully, I am not showing you the photograph right now because I want you to imagine it yourself. But which, kind, which plant am I talking about? I mean, the roots will arise from the branches and then those roots will start growing in the downward direction. It will reach the soil and it fix itself inside the soil. So that means it will provide additional support. Try to visualize. You are right. I am talking about the banyan tree. I had given this example sometime back as well. So in banyan tree what happens is you already have one root, the normal one, which helps in fixing the plant to the soil. But as the tree becomes too huge, only this root is not sufficient for the support of this tree. So what happens, some of the branches get modified into roots and these roots will start growing in the downward direction, they will reach the soil and there it will again form the secondary or tertiary roots. So that means it will provide additional support, right? So these kind of roots are known as hanging roots. They are also called prop roots. So prop roots is the name given to these kind of roots. So basically such roots start as tiny outgrowth on the branches. Gradually they grow downwards and later it becomes large and woody. So even here if you see these roots actually become woody and large. So as a result, the valley tree extends over a large area because the roots are not only at the center, the roots are everywhere and they will again have their branches. So it will actually spread over a very large area. The second one are the stilt roots. So let us see what kind of roots are they, even they are the supporting roots, but they originate from the stem base. They grow obliquely and penetrate into the soil. So it is not that they grow vertically downwards. They grow at an angle and then they go deep into inside the soil. Example of stilt roots are sugarcane and maize. So here if you see these roots, they arise from the stem base. So this is the stem base and then they arise from here. They are like initially they are at an angle, not exactly vertically downwards, but gradually they get penetrate into the soil. So examples would be sugarcane or maize. Third one are the climbing roots. Such roots originate from nodes or internodes of the stem. Now there are certain plants. I am sure that you would have come across many such plants where you see that if they get some support, maybe a pillar or a building, the plant starts climbing along that support. So how do they do that? They need to have some structures which actually help in climbing. So such roots, such plants where the roots are modified to climbing structures are called climbing roots. So these kind of roots originate from the nodes or internodes. They help plants climb on surfaces. So what basically happens in such roots is that the roots secrete some sticky substances that attach the plant firmly to the support or the external surface. For example, here you can see the example of a beetle leaf. So here the roots modify itself in this way that it will stick to the surface. For example, the surface here is the wall. So what happens is the root will secrete some sticky substance and that sticky substance will attach the plant firmly to this wall. And that is how it helps, actually helps it in climbing. So examples are bitter, bitter as well as climbing fig. These are some of the examples of climbing roots. Such plants with climbing roots are also termed as climbers. 
so they don't not they not only climb walls they also climb to pillars or gates many people use these kind of plants for decoration purpose thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again